Morning everyone. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. This was a hat that I did yesterday. Um, it's just one of the black paper or card ones. But I crackled it. I'm not sure if you can see that. I used the um, Dreamweaver's crackle paste. And then I used the Cosmic Shimmer. I think it was a golden blush or something. Uh, to um, go over the crackle. Which gave it a, a really nice look and a feel to it. Um, the things I used on it, um, and this was me thinking outside the box, I didn't know what wire to use. Um, I wanted something sticking up from the hat. And what I had in my, because I don't throw anything away, and I picked them up at the car boot, this is, um, can you see this squirrely thing, is um, a bookmark. It's a metal bookmark. So I used that and just glued it on, and it... Um, the actual hook bit of that, that had uh, something like dangling from it, um, is what's pinned this on. You know, I've pinned that to... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and so I put that on, and then I had this little bling. And to that, I hung that little bling. Oops. That one. So I wanted something dangling from it. And then the pearls, if you remember when I bought the uh, car boot... Well, when Ray brought the car boot things in, I cut the necklaces up, and these were two single strands of pearls that were on a, a necklace and I cut them off and I leave them as they are uh, because I know they come in handy for something so I put one at the front um, I just wanted the pearls here um, I didn't want them showing at the front because of this butterfly here that is a butterfly um, and then I put a button there and then, then underneath it obviously attached that one that hung from the paper uh, from the bookmark um, this was a gold leaf, uh, like a, a metal leaf I found on a piece of jewellery. This is just um, an acrylic flower. This is, um, it had little holes, uh, you know, little loops on. Uh, I think this was the Articake stuff, not sure. I think so. And that one. Um, and like I said, just put the button there. And then to this I just added a feather there. And then a black feather here. And I know it seems like over the top, but I actually like that piece. I like that top hat. Um, and that is going out to somebody. So uh, hopefully whoever I send it to likes it. <laughs> so I just thought I'd explain that and and how it, how it came about, that particular one. But I do like, it's just ordinary black card, and I do like... Uh, the crackle effect. Now, I know some of you have received the pattern from me and some of you haven't. I haven't forgotten. As soon as I get round to doing your emails, I've got hundreds to work through. I will get to them and I will post you the link uh, or the pattern itself, okay? I'll just pass it on to you. That's all I'm doing. I'm not selling them. I'm passing them on. Uh, so that was that hat. Uh, now, this morning, I received a card. And this is from uh, Cross Stitch Button again, Maureen. And she says, Sorry, late. Finding closed mini cups, I forgot to send in your birthday parcel. Added extra charms for you. Love and hugs, Maureen. So, and I just think these are most adorable because she knows I do miniatures. And I am going to be doing a miniature kitchen, so I'm absolutely thrilled. Look, little cups and saucers, I just think. They are so adorable. And I will be making the uh, dresser, you know, the um, kitchen dresser. And these will sit on there perfectly so thank you so much for those and like she says she has sent me some charms i'm just going to try and bring the camera in now for some reason i don't know what it is i've got a shadow on this camera uh, here and it's annoying me to death because it's not showing clear things so i'm hopefully going to bring that in hopefully that's clear maybe not not too close not close enough hopefully uh, and so she sent me lots of little goodies here as well. And these are fantastic. Oh, look, a globe. Beautiful, love that. Not, I think I've got one that somebody sent me recently. Unless you might have done that, actually. Live life to the fullest. I intend to. <laughs> oh, they're brilliant. Look, little twigs with flowers on. Lots of little chat. Oh, I like that one. Purple, of course. Like a, oh, no, one in blue. Oh, an angel. Look. Oh, and I love the little... Oh, they're nice. They're glass leaves. Brilliant. A clock. Lots and lots of goodies to play with. And uh, 
yeah, and, and like I say, I'm doing the miniature um, kitchen shortly. Oh, some more glass ones there. I didn't see them. Roses. Look, the fish will go on the plate. One of the plates, won't it? Paint it to look like a fish. Brilliant. What are these? Connectors. I'll connect something. Look, you even got a bone in a dog's bowl. <laughs> It'll have to be a miniature miniature then, won't it? They're just fabulous. But like you say, you know, I'm going to put a clock on the wall of the miniature. There's lots and lots of things to play with. Love. Um, and I can't wait to start the next one. Because I enjoy doing my miniatures. So, thank you very much, Maureen. I do appreciate it. And, of course, they will not go to waste. So, um, I also got a little parcel in that I sent from... I got. I found them on Etsy. A bit pricey, but they're exactly what I wanted. So, I'm just going to share that with you as well. And I'm sorry about the, uh, you know, uh, not answering people straight away. I, I, honest to God, I just don't have the time. So I will get to your answers. Everybody knows I've always tried to answer people and always uh, made comment on your comments. But um, they're so, so busy these days. And, the, you know, the shop's busy. Everything, I just can't do it. It's impossible to do it immediately. So you might get your answers two or three days late. And I do apologise for that. Um... I don't think people realise just how busy I am. And uh, there is only me. Anyway, um, like I say, I found him. He had some 20-odd watch um, faces. And I thought, well, they're ideal for steampunk. So I'm just going to show you some. I hope you can see them. And they, they are, some of them are oldy old. Vintage. <laughs> Which is what we need. I just love them. Love them. I think they're great. Some have still got their little hands in. Like that. Hope you can see them. Some really nice ones as well. Well, they will all, all come in handy. That just reminds me of the watch my dad used to wear. Hmm. <laughs> So there you go, you know, um, it's just scout, scout around. I didn't mind paying a little bit extra for them because there is 20 odd of them and uh, they will look great in projects. So I just thought I'll share that with you. Uh, and I'm just as busy today as I was yesterday. I've got all the laces to cut up, which is going to take me hours. <laughs> and... Um, parcels to wrap. Uh, and the kits, the uh, mystery kits... Um, almost complete and like I say I was doing that in between jobs yesterday as well it does take time and um, you know all together I've um, 15 <laughs> but uh, I've got everything ready for Friday as well I've had to do that this is for our you stream on Friday 8 o'clock I'm just going to lower the, uh, the camera a bit you stream on sorry Friday at 8 o'clock UK time. I think somebody said it was 4 o'clock um, in America. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I'm all prepared. I've done, I've got the birds, I've painted some birds up ready and I've painted them ready because I'm going to glitter them as well. Got everything ready that we need. Um, the base of the house, which I'm just going to show you again, the base of the house, although I've put um, a nice felt part on it, was only these that I found in the car boot, which were the, you know, from the kids section, you know, with the toys. And there were them, you know, what you teach kids with. Um, and I just cut, covered it. Uh, and that's all that was. So when you're walking about looking at your, and uh, not antiques, looking at your um, uh, car boots, looking at flea markets and things like that, look into the kids section and I'll tell you why. When you go, when you see anybody selling children's stuff, you can find often uh, units. You know, like um, <clears throat> a kid's unit that you can decorate up into a shadow box or something like that. Uh, there's lots and lots of things on the kiddie sections that you can use. If you think outside the box, these, yeah, they may only be squares. They're wooden and they paint up and they cover and you can use them as plinths. 
you know, to put something on, to stand something on. Um, I collect all sorts. I also collect um, the cards, the very thick chipboard cards, you know, and it'll have five apples on and the number five. Uh, go for those as well because they make excellent tags and they're a lot stronger than the chipboard we use. So you just scout around in every department possible. If you come across, and this is a good tip, if you come across um, anyone selling tools, Go and have a look because they often have uh, washers, you know, old washers. and uh, I don't mean washing machines. I'm on about <laughs> uh, little ring washers, nuts and bolts. They have lots of things that you can uh, use in your crafts. They might have wire on a roll. Buy it because that wire you can use in anything. You can use it to make jewellery with. You can add it to jewellery. Like this. Look, it's just wire. You know what I mean? So... I, I'm trying to get people to think outside the box. When you're looking around your car boots, when you're looking around your estate sales and things like that, look in every department. Don't just say, oh, that's men, that's, the, that's boys, that's girls, that's kids. Go and have a look and see what they've got that you can use and alter in your projects. And your creativeness will zoom. It will just fly. And um, you'll see. It will. Um, and I always say to people, I've said this many a times, look around your home in every room and if there's something you're not quite keen on anymore and you want it to alter it, alter it. Just go ahead and do it. Um, I'm going to be doing a glass bottle shortly. Um, a glass jar. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's uh, like this. It's, it's bigger, but it's like that. Right? But I'm going to alter it because I want to put something in mine. Uh, but I want it to look nice, so I'm going to be doing one of those as well, uh, using um, mud rock, or mud rock, whatever you want to call it, plaster of Paris to me, <laughs> um, yeah, and we're going to be doing one of those, um, just to alter, because I want to, okay, and don't forget, if you get your glass dew drops, you know what I'm talking about, little discs, the little glass dew drops, you get them in the furnishing departments in the uh, stores. Uh, you can often pick them up at car boots. Pick them up. It doesn't matter if they are coloured or clear. Coloured ones you put on your projects that you want to paint over, like the canvases we've been doing, you know, where everything gets painted white. That saves you having to use your clear ones. You know, so don't waste them. Anything you see that you think you can use, at, whether it's, I mean, even in those canvases that you paint over, there are a lot of things that you, you don't, you know, you don't often use it. Oh, I'll use that maybe one day. Get it out, stick it on a canvas, paint over it. One, you've used it. Two, you've made something with it. You've created. And three, it's not in your drawer anymore. We're making space, you know, wasting space. So lots and lots of things you can do. And um, I'm going to keep showing you. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you on Friday at Ustream, 8 o'clock UK time. Bye-bye for now.